Thank you. As it was said, like, my name is Anton Katenko, but I have a lot of nicknames, and one of them is Ulrich Wilfred, so I'm trying to pretend I'm a German guy. Uh, so, my talk is about my hobby framework. Mm, it's hard to tell what it does. I will show you the examples. Uh, it's RPD framework, reactive page development, and there is no error there. It's like flow programming for everyone, like developers. And for everyone, it's the thing like develop developers do, like clients. So uh, actually, this framework is a JavaScript framework. It helps to build uh, interfaces like that. Uh, you probably know Quartz, develop uh, Quartz Composer, like the stuff from Apple to make your own screensavers and stuff. Uh, and also there is a, a German framework. Uh, it's called FIAV, or uh, uh, It's It has the same interface, but uh, not a lot of such things exist for uh, web. Uh, accidentally, like it was my home project, but it found its usage in our company. You know, we have these beams, like, um, I'll probably show it in action. This is the link to the examples I will show. I'm oh, sorry. So, this is it. Yeah. Um, you can generate a new beam, for example, with a single touch. And also you can, for example, connect the palettes and change the colors of the beams. But it's uh, only the one application. There are, exist many, and there are um, it's possible uh, this framework helps you to build uh, the pages and build the interface like to connect things uh, in HTML or SVG, doesn't matter. Like different styles, and this one has processing JS, P5 JS uh, inside. Uh, so for example, I can, I can uh, change the color of these waves. So, actually everything when you connect the nodes and, uh, and make the data flow. Uh, the benefits, like it's very lightweight, a very simple API, I will show how simple it is. Uh, it could render to SVG and HTML, like you choose which. Uh, this framework is built using f functional programming, so everything is immutable, so you can undo the stuff uh, easily, like everything user does. Uh, also, it supports any asynchronous operations uh, with the reactive streams, so you may write some node that loads the data from a server uh, and wait for it, and only then send it to the output. Uh, easy to create toolkits, easy to implement rendering and define styles, and easy to connect to any other leaps like sound, animation, everything. This is how API looks like when you construct the patch. So, actually, you just add nodes, add inlets. Inlets are inputs. Uh, uh, this way, you may access uh, the existing inlets already defined in the type. Uh, and this way, you may, like in runtime, add the, the additional input. 
or for, for example, send some image to the input, or connect the output to some input, like very easy, or send some data uh, later in one second, for example. And the, to define the node type, like it's very easy. You just define the inputs, define the outputs, their types, um, and the process function. Like you may emulate the neural network we've seen before. <laughs> um, you may actually uh, send some data later, as I said, in this process function if you need it. Like you may uh, create a promise and return some stuff later. Uh, the renderer is, al is also very simple to define. Uh, it has first function, like which is implement, uh, which is called the first time the node is placed on the canvas, uh, and always function, which is called for every refresh of the data. It's very e uh, you can uh, define uh, the node type with a function and return something, so you may prepare some data before, before building a type. So it's like uh, the same goes for the uh, render definition, it works like that. So actually that's it. It was <laughs> even faster than eight minutes. Please visit the page I hope I described in details. <laughs> Thank you.